production in action. <laughs> Right, uh, welcome home. I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing burger. And for me, the secret of burger is in the blend. So we've got chuck, we've got the most amazing ground beef, and a little bit of brisket. First things first, season it. Once you've seasoned them, combine them together. We're binding this together with a touch mm. of egg. That sticks it together, and more That's importantly, try and get this done the day before. You get this done the day before, set them in the fridge so they stay nice and firm. That way they don't fall apart on the grill. Get that grill piping hot. Now, this is one of my most desired burgers, one of my favorite burgers. This is, for me, called the F Word Burger, which is actually on sale at my burger restaurant at Planet Hollywood in Vegas. Now, season them. Let the meat relax a little bit. Don't take them out of the fridge ice cold, otherwise they'll be dry on the outside and raw in the middle. Grill, piping hot. A little touch of oil on the burger to start off with. This is a beautiful grapeseed oil. Make sure it's seasoned. Also, roll the seasoning around the edge of the burger. You know, you can't season the burger after it's cooked, so make sure you roll uh, that I mean, seasoning I do. around you the outside. You just put it on it. And mop up all that seasoning. Gently, all the burgers, and then on. Find the hottest spot, which is normally Two thirds of the way up. Once you put a burger on the grill, the secret yes. is to move it as less as possible. The more you move, move it, it, the more it as chance you've got a break as in the burger. What? It's to move it as less as possible. Move it as less as possible. <laughs> the more you move it, the more chance you've got a break <laughs> in the burger. And then look on. Now, from move there, it as little as possible. Lift like. down. That incorporates the heat, gets a great sear on the bottom, so when we come to turn those burgers, they don't stick. How many times have you stuck burgers on a grill and wondered why it's sticking? Hope you're Nicely doing oiled, good bulldog quick because sear, you've been despairing a bit lately. Put that lid down, really important. Now, alongside my burger, I'm going to be toasting mm -hmm. the buns. Why do we toast the buns? We toast the bun because there's nothing worse than the soggy bun. How many times have you had a burger and the bun is wet? If you toast that bun, it gets nice and crisp and it protects uh, the burger. So, salt. I pepper, disagree. A little I actually disagree. Of oil and lightly toast those buns. Back up, lift, quick, in, toast those buns. Nothing's worse than a bun that's crisp. What goes well with the burger? You bite it and it's crispy. Cheese, tomato, lettuce, a little bit of mustard mayonnaise. Can bite it and then. And these beauties here grilled onions. Peel the onion, slice them. Lightly season them, Lightly salt, pepper, se season. fresh grilled onions on a burger, trust me, delicious, easy to do, absolutely phenomenal. Now, on, season them, keep them whole like that, that way they stop breaking up, and then look. I'm a firm believer in toasting both sides of my bun, top and bottom, onions on, Lid back down. Now, look Swedish take. at that bun. Uh, McDonald's, most full burger, Turning they're bun. not crispy. Over. Buns. Wow. The flame is the flavor, okay? Use a long spatula. Wait till that goes. A busy grill is a delicious grill. So, you don't cook the burger and then set it up for dressing. You get set up first. So while the burger's cooking, you get everything done first. It's a really important tip. Why? It stops the burger going cold and also you want to eat it when it's piping hot. Mmm! Look at those babies. Paralyze those onions. Love those. Now, at my burger restaurant in Las Vegas, we based the burgers with Devonshire butter. Mm -hmm. Today, we're just gonna lightly brush a bit of butter onto the burgers. With that flame underneath, it sort of caramelizes the butter and puts this wonderful flavor on top. So, just- But you don't need to tell us why butter makes a burger a good. Butter on there. And it makes the burger <laughs> so tasty. Now, 
you want to become even more chefy, what can you do? Make a red wine butter, a chipotle butter. This is the basic, amazing recipe for a great burger. It's up to you to sort of make it your own. But lightly brushing the burgers with a touch of butter, two minutes before they come off, so exciting. Look at the color of those burgers. Notice how there's no shrinkage there because we've got the right amount of fat in there. And with this butter, it makes it so flavorful. Butter. Right, time to flip over again. Literally three and a half to four minutes each side. Look at that. That is a burger to die for. And then a light brush. Now, before they come off the grill, lightly season them on the grill. Look, from a distance. Um, the first part of the seasoning. Pretty sure you told us not to season after it's cooked. It's cooked and it's inside that burger. Last part of the seasoning, literally before you take them off, really important. Season, 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 close. Now for the exciting part. Here's the base, okay? Your turn to back. Okay. Okay, okay, I ran Billy. Five seconds remaining. Okay. One random a day to keep the weeps away. Uh, ooh, oh, mm, this tail is kind of cute. It's not as fluffy as the original one, but it's three. This one is not good. Uh, little known fact that is that she's got individual nerves and you like, can control them invid individually. Uh, so she likes to wrap them around your. D it's pretty cute. That's the bum of the burger. Base, base, base. Three tops, three bases. Let's think. That's a hard a uh, bun. Like, this is not burger. good buns. Base, I'm base, sorry. Base. Three tops, three bases. Think uh. about how you're going to assemble this. Think about once it's clutched in your hand. 30 seconds before those burgers come off, I'm going to put my nice, beautiful, rich cheddar cheese on top. Yes. So, on. Let's go there. Cheese on. 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 Remember, we season underneath that, so the flavor inside is gonna be incredible. Mm. First off, a little touch of mayonnaise. Mm. It's a light mustard mayonnaise. I don't see any on. ketchup anywhere. Look at that. On. I'm gonna go for the top as well. How many times have you seen guests that have opened up a burger and they try to put ketchup or mayonnaise? Once you've assembled the Finally burger, you back can't again. Have a good day, break God it down. Gamer. You've gotta pull it together and eat it nice and whole. So you want this oozing out the side. Now, mayonnaise on. From there, take your lettuce and just lightly snap the lettuce, break that in half, and sort of manipulate the lettuce where it sits, literally, on your bun. Snap it, break it, and form the lettuce mm. the same shape of your bun. Snap it, break it, and gently push it down. From there, a nice slice of tomato. Mm. After that, when I say a thing, give me an S, 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 give me an A, A, so give me an L, L, give me a T. Oh, Salt now. and pepper this on that tomato. <laughs> Good day, then. A little bit more salt. Park tasty. Lightly season it. Beautifully done. And look, from there, a touch more mayonnaise. A touch. Just a touch. Now. Here's where it goes up. Surely he's not going to salt the, Look the at meat that again. That, come on, seriously, beautiful. On she goes. Number two, on she goes. I mean, number three, on she goes. How do we elevate it even more? How do we take that to another level? <laughs> yeah, salt. Look at these. Come on, seriously. I mean, yeah. Come on, seriously. Five, four, and six. I'm flat down. Now you tell me. Seriously. <laughs> Attack! The battle begins. In we go. Again, season it. Salt and pepper. As that starts caramelizing, a little touch of butter in there just adds more and more flavor 
start off medium high heat, turn it down, and use. And sometimes I do feel like a little toxic, in that pan, but it's not that common. Continue cooking that burger beautifully. You can see that the actual pate is starting to caramelize. You only flip burgers once, okay? Have the confidence, use the pan, let the pan do the work, and get that beautiful color in there. I'm just gonna give that a little baste there. You can see what's happening up and over. Look at that color. Touch more butter. And because I've got all that beautiful heat in the pan, look, I can get my onions in there and beautifully caramelize these onions. Season the other side, the burgers. Season the onions. Again, fresh cracked pepper. And now this whole thing's starting to come together. Turn over my onions. Beautiful. The flavor and the smell is incredible. Mm. We're literally cooking the burger two minutes each side. I like my burgers just under medium. Before I put my cheese on, I like to season the burger again. Cheese on. Season the cheese. And again, one more on top. And then from there, touch of fresh pepper. Very How do we melt that cheese properly? First of all, turn off the heat. Get your lid, stick that on top, and that will help melt that cheese beautifully. Set that to the side. And now for the exciting part. This is where we start to build this beautiful burger. My buns are being toasted, okay? So that's gonna give me a little bit more crispiness on there as well. First of all, a little smear of mayonnaise, soft mm. butter lettuce, just don't slice it, just crack that open, let that sit nicely. There's Again, layer it up, touch of salt, touch of pepper, it goes a long way. Tomato on, I'm gonna get a little mm. touch Only of one mustard. Slice, please. A beautiful Dijon mustard and just rub that on the top part of my bun. And yes. then from there, I need some acid. I've got my pickles now, we are ready. Lid off, look at that cheese. It's melted beautifully. You can still hear that cook taking place inside the pan. That's gonna sit on top. And then finally, these onions, look at them. Caramelized beautifully. I just love the flavor. I just it's like still to too that. thick, fatty. With it's too big. Fresh pepper. It's too big, I'm sorry. And then, bang. Now come on. That is a burger to die for. It's too big. Uh, if I used a knife and fork, you failed. Minus one on you.